9. That's 01768 891 nine. Now, as most of us know, car crime is a blight on every city in Britain, but nowhere more so than in Belfast, a city where police work has long been fraught with difficulty and danger, and where there is often a race against time to catch criminals before vigilante gangs exact their own kind of justice. In tonight's remarkable line report, we go behind the scenes with officers of the RUC who are showing their faces on screen for the first time since the Northern Ireland ceasefire. A joyrider has crashed after a high-speed chase with police. So far this year, over 4,000 cars have been stolen from the streets of Belfast. So if there's no other questions, we'll go out there. The specialist unit set up to stop the joyriders is the driving away team of the RUC. They work undercover in unmarked vehicles. And their main weapon against the joyrider is in the boot of each car. OK, I'm going to show you this thing. Our device that uh, has been issued to the force here. Um, this device in this case here, and this is used to help stop stolen motor vehicles. As you can see, these here are spikes. I don't know if you can see it or not there, but the spike is actually hollow. And what happens is this is deployed across the road in front of a uh, suspect stolen vehicle. Because it's hollow, the air is released slowly from the tyre. It means then that the driver of the suspect vehicle um, does not lose control of the car. So what you do is you hold here, and you hold here. Um, whenever the car would come down, you would deploy it like that. Tonight, the driving away team is taking part in a major operation in West Belfast. Car crime is a, is a huge problem, uh, particularly in West Belfast, and it threatens community of West Belfast whenever these cars are driving around at high speeds within small estates, you know, and there's every likelihood, and I've often been to, to incidents where people have been knocked down and killed within West Belfast as a result of joyriding. There's an added urgency to finding the joyriders of West Belfast. Paramilitary and vigilante groups continue to patrol the area and hand out punishment beatings to persistent car thieves. For the police, it's important to catch them first. I think the vigilante groups would want to be seen to, to be the police within their own areas. I mean, at the end of the day, we're doing our job regardless of uh, vigilantes. We have to be seen to be doing our own job, seen to be doing our job and do it to the best of our abilities. West Belfast remains a fiercely nationalist area, and the driving away team will be backed up by armoured Land Rovers throughout the night. It's 12 a.m. and Oscar 291 is following a suspect vehicle into a cul-de-sac. It's not stolen. Ah, it's a stolen. All call oh, signs. Right. Sierra Oscar 291 stolen vehicle. Mike into Oscar 2155. Can I get down there? Without hesitation, the police give chase across the grass. Oh. Roger, he's going down the big green over the bank. He's going to head back down onto the uh, Army Town Road. Easy, oh. easy, easy. <laughs> Transmitting, Jordy, tell him to believe it. Roger, watch in the roundabout. Tell the land over, pull in, Jordy. Land over, pull in, we're behind you, pull in, land over, pull in. Pull Unfortunately, they lose sight of the stolen car. It turns up later, abandoned on an estate. And you see the standard damage to the door lock. Uh, most likely been a screwdriver that's been forced in and uh, open the door lock. But Oscar 291 hasn't given up the search for the suspected driver. He's been seen in the area on foot, and they soon catch up with him. What are they doing Despite his protest, the youth is well known to the driving away team. He's arrested and later charged with taking and driving away. There are some of my regulars there that are. 25, 26 years of age, you know, they just seem to be bitten by the whole thing and just carry on reoffending. And nothing seems to stop them, whether it's paramilitary assaults or prison, they just carry on reoffending. Oscar 293 comes across one of its regular car thieves. There's actually one of our habitual car thieves there. Uh, he'd be a well known suspect to us who uh, in the past has been assaulted by the paramilitaries. He agreed to talk to us about the vigilante punishment beatings he'd received. 
and grabbed me from the sides and took me away in a car up the street. This one was broke in five or six places. It had a muscle ripped out and a new muscle from the stomach put in. How did they do that to you? With uh, a spike off a fence and baseball bats were nails, a metal rail and baseball bats. What did they say to you when they'd done this to you? They threw 10 p and says, make your own phone call. Back out on patrol and Oscar 291 is in pursuit of a stolen white car. Lena Dune Avenue runs left to right there. Left. Roger, left, left, left at Lena Dune Avenue, four up. Lima Delta Zulu 6024 at speed over the ramps. From the directions given, other members of the team try to work out where he'll head next. Right up the Suffolk Road. Right, right, right up the Suffolk Road. Right, right, right. Okay, Jordy. Okay, okay. It's going left on the Stewart Town. It's a left, left, left on the Stewart Town Road. And it's going right, and it's right along the Stewart Town Road. It's going right into our left into. Uh, left, 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 and towards Suffolk Parade. Oscar 293 races ahead to lay down a stinger. Up Avenue. The stolen car evades a police Land Rover. Come on, boys, get a stinger out! Oscar 293 takes up position. It's a far round about the portion is on. Which roundabout? No, he's not heading towards the Stewart Town now. That's all the high speed. Stinger available at the Shell Station. Uh, Stinger available at the Shell Station, Stewart Town Road. Right. Check it out. Is that coming through the lights? There you go. Heading along left, left, left along the main road. He's abandoned it. But the driver decides to bail out early. One of the passengers is caught. You torch her, George? No. Yeah. The rest of the team search for the driver. Hey, right, take a wee seat there. Oh, I know. Sit What's your name? I don't think there's this state line there. It looks as if the driver has run into a nearby estate, but without the backup of armoured vehicles, it's considered too dangerous to go on. We'll have to double back into it. LDZ 6024. I'm not have to say anything, but it must cost you. If you don't mention a person, something to get around the court. Yeah, you know what it is? The youth is charged with being a passenger in a stolen vehicle. The important thing, the car's been recovered, at least there's been one, one arrest out of it. Yeah. So we'll move on, we'll get this one recovered, have it fingerprinted, move on to the next one. They don't wait long. Oscar 291 receives a report that a car has refused to stop for police. And from the other end of West Belfast, Oscar 293 races to the area. Both cars are trying to get in position to lay down stingers. <laughs> Delta from 293, check please, Lima X-ray India, 4 9 or 2 0 Towards the door, I'm towards the door, I'm just past my shop. Just past my shop. Stop, 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 stop. 293 gets there first. They're looking for a white Vauxhall. Stay the road, bud. They're too late to use the Stinger, but another squad car is still in hot pursuit. Half a mile down the road, Oscar 291 has taken up position.
Come on, move out of the way. Move. Here he comes, Jordan. This is him coming. This is him coming. Go ahead. Help me, Stung. The stinger hits, and the car comes to a stop in a few hundred yards. The car is packed with five passengers. The driver appears more worried about being identified than his actual arrest. He hasn't stolen the car, but he is charged later with drink driving and failing to stop for the police. Seen in slow motion, it's clear just how effective the stinger is. For Jeff Boyce and the team, it proved to be a long night. When I first came to this unit five years ago, it was over 7,000 cars stolen a year. Now it's down to just over 4,000. That's a lot to do with the, the function of this unit um, and other police officers who are on the ground. With nine arrests and five vehicles recovered, the operation is a major success for the driving away team. Right, I've got some more updates for you. We've had two sightings of the chameleon in the Oxfordshire area. Someone who thinks she's tried to rent a room